connect the dots for me. What, you've, what you're basically saying, as I understand it, is that what makes this murder, specifically, is the fact that he lied us into the war. Yeah, we have some killings, and the question is, are these killings lawful killings, wartime killings, or unlawful killings, which they would be if he took this nation to war under false pretenses? So that, that basically you're saying if he took this nation to war with fall, under false pretenses, then the entire justification for the war disappears. Absolutely, absolutely. If you're acting in self-defense, then there's no criminal mens rea. Right. You know what mens rea, the criminal state of mind. The state of mind. How can there be criminal intent if you're acting in self-defense? If you're not acting in self-defense, then you have mens rea. So even if he felt he had a justifiable reason uh, whether it was you know spreading democracy in the Middle East or whether it was going after him because his, his Hussein tried to assassinate his father whatever the reason might be in his own mind and he didn't share that reason with the American people he would be guilty of murder Certainly in a law school sense, and I believe in a real sense also, uh, there are two problems if he did that. One problem is this. Don't you require in a democracy the informed consent of the electorate before, oh, yeah. the electorate before you go to war? Mm -hmm. Isn't it the blood of their children who's going to be shed in the war? Aren't they entitled to know why are you going to war? So that's the first problem. If he kept that a secret, from the American people. The second problem is this. He told America that the reason he was going to war is that Hussein was an imminent threat to the security of this country. So if he takes the witness stand at his trial and he says, I lied to you, that's not the real reason. Here's the real reason. Isn't he thereby admitting then that he took the nation to war on a lie, no matter how good the purpose was? Mm -hmm. Motive, you know, is circumstantial evidence of guilt, the absence of motive, circumstantial evidence of innocence, but the prosecution never has the burden of proving motive. Right. I put people on death row without knowing for sure why they committed the homicide. All I knew is that they killed the victim and there was no legal justification for them to do so. so but, but you're asking, not, an, you're asking a big question. justify it after the fact. No, but you are asking an interesting question. What if he was well-intentioned? Well, you know, you could say that about someone going into a bank killing someone, robbing, to give to the poor. Well, he was well-intentioned. He's only going to give it to the poor. Mm -hmm. no, that's not a defense in the law.